so the home cooked part right the home chef culture is really picked up especially during covid days people need the extra revenue or yeah. they're sitting home from work or whatever is that a threat to the restaurant business at all but yeah you know what and yeah of course i mean anything that anything you don't buy from zandas today you buy from someone else is a threat i mean in right. that way but of course it's also good for the market you're right in covid there are a lot of people home chefs who are uh coming out some great stuff and yeah. and the advantage for these people is that they've got they've they're trying out all these things that capture this moment where all restaurants are basically dead and right. now you are the level playing field so now yes. you can instead of getting one orders every two days you might be getting eight orders every two days because mm -hmm. you know people now have more choice so a lot of people i feel will realize that oh my god yeah team my name i've so well my god I'm, yeah. you know i'm going to you know because yeah. so that's what's going to happen uh, yeah. I, I know that I know one or two people who started this in Lahore and they they're doing really well now and like and they they opening rest, uh, like a restaurant and catering services. So mm -hmm. I mean it is it's a huge opportunity for those who've been wanting to go into restaurants mm -hmm. but now they have a moment to basically they have a captive audience to do it. Interesting. And uh, yeah of course it's a threat of course I mean if you have something someone like let's say I'm doing like crepes for example we talk about mm -hmm. and someone's doing some fantastic crepes you have another one who opens who knows it's a proven concept. So obviously it's like any business, the more mm -hmm. you have, but it's good because it keeps you on your toes. And I actually, actually mean it, it's good that there's more stuff there because it's, it keeps you, you know, innovative. Plus it also keeps the consumer prime to keep trying new things and eating out. And at the end of the day, look, you know, you want your comfort food, you want your meal that you can trust. Sometimes you want the food that you know and you can count on. And that's where yeah. consistency in a brand like Xander's maybe comes in. You know, yeah. so that people know that I I will always have this. And I hope it consistent day after tomorrow <laughs> when we open doors. My yeah. cooks have my cooks have been in their villages and Hunza and Skardu and wherever <laughs> chilling for the past four months. So yeah. I hope they remember how to make some food. <laughs> so we'll find out in a couple of days.